My name is Lori Yates, and I'm one of the artists who participated in this show, the Artists for Justice group, um, Black Lives Lost. And um, I painted Anton Black, who is an uh, Eastern Shore young man, was an Eastern Shore young man, um, lived in Greensboro with his family. And it really meant a lot to me to be able to do Anton's portrait because I just happened to be uh, the mentor to his niece. So when he died, the, the day after his death, I learned about I learned about what had happened through her. And uh, at the time, I guess she was um, 12 years old. So she tried to explain to me some of the details and particulars about the circumstances around his death. And uh, of course, right away, you know, it was distressing and upsetting to see also how upset she was and trying to describe some of what their family was experiencing. So, um, after that, I tried to inform myself and be in touch with any news articles that had come out about it to learn more. I had spoken with her mother briefly, but you know, it was complicated and um, I wanted to be very respectful of the family. Um, and after a little while, they released the body cam footage um, that the officer and you know, the camera the officer was wearing, the resting officer, which was um, very graphic and a very disturbing thing to watch. But I felt somehow that I owed it to myself and my relationship uh, with my mentee to watch that and try to have a greater understanding of the circumstances. And, uh, you know, I, I, right away, I just felt like there were so many moments when the police officer had a choice to make. And I felt like the choices he made were exacerbating the circumstances rather than ameliorating the circumstances. I felt like he had options available to him in his profession to hopefully keep the peace around an incident that, that occurred that, um, you know, that it's, there weren't, there wasn't a weapon involved or anything like that. And this young man died right in front of his mother's home where he ran to for safety. Um, it was just a, such a disturbing thing. So with that kind of as a backdrop for me, when Nancy Tankersley reached out to let me know she was going to do this project of Artists for Justice, I was enthusiastic and really eager to take part and to be the one to paint Anton. Um, you know, there, it, there's just so many thoughts around this, and I know um, Katie and the staff here at Dorchester Center for the Arts have, um, at the openings, many of us spoke, and. So I learned more about how some of the other artists felt in their process of doing this. And um, it's very, very impactful as an artist to do a portrait of someone who has died and then to um, have this be part of a larger and impactful show like this that speaks to really racism and police brutality, which are heavy subjects and very current right now in our country. So on the one hand, I'm grateful. On the other, I feel it's deepened my uh, sensitivity around this uh, issue. Um, I'm looking for more ways that I can learn about what uh, any family would go through in circumstances like this, but to particularly be sensitive to the experience of the black community and find a way to 
cross bridges so that um, I can be someone who continues to learn more and more about racism, my own white privilege, which I, I've become much more aware of through this, and see how I may be able to make a contribution, a small contribution as an artist by bringing attention to the issue. And the power of this show uh, is incredible. When you see all of these people, I don't even know how many portraits are in the show right now, but it is sizable. And you know, all of these people's lives cut short, often in circumstances that seem as if they could have gone the other way and these lives could have been saved. And uh, it's distressing, yet, um, as I say, I'm grateful to be able to take part in it.